Tory party has received donations from Russian sources. Members of my government are involved. It could be anyone. First of all, this show is incredible. Just Aww. when I thought the answers after the finale man the show changed all the questions uh yeah. ali um uh idra and stewart's relationship is probably one of the most complicated relationships on the show how have the events of last season shaped their relationship this season well, I think there's a real push-pull because on one hand, I think Idra was ready to be totally done with Stuart at the end of um, season one, but the explosion and kind of the that the vulnerability that's the reality of what they do, I think makes it a little trickier and she's it's she's having a harder time putting, compartmentalizing those feelings. Absolutely. Now, David, Kate and Dennison's relationship probably shifts the most this season. How would you describe their ever-shifting dynamic uh, in season two? Well, it's interesting that relationship Stuart and Idra's like there's different stages of relationship. There's Rufus and and uh, Kerry and and then me and Kerry. Um, I think, look, the world that they're in explodes literally, and everything changes. And so they have to kind of not focus on that. But there's something about not focusing on it and not dealing with it. It doesn't mean it goes away. It's just like. I think that other the technical term is blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be the percent. I Thank think that's you. that's the relationship phase they, they are with in. <laughs> blue balls. Now, Ali, Meg Roiland turns things upside down this season. She's one of the more slippery characters on this show. Can you tease uh, your character's involvement with Roiland this season? Yeah, I think that... Well, so she is... She is really watching Roylan, and I think that what's so exciting about working with someone like Celia is she's such a, a legend, and I think Idra respects Roylan because I think she sees that this woman is smart, and she's a real challenge, but I think she knows that she cannot, um, she's got to bring her A game because Roylan is is not a, an she's easy target. Yeah, she's she's a pro, um, So which kind of matches how I felt about Celia in real life, although <laughs> Celia in real life is also just so deliciously oh warm and God. funny and very different from the stern Roiland that you and see on screen. Well. She oh, she's so naughty. She's really so lovely. naughty. It's lovely. I love that. Now, uh, one of the big themes this season is the term, the cost of doing business. What does that mean to your characters? Uh, how, did, how does that apply to your characters? And we'll start with you, David. Uh, I think the cost is silencing what's going on underneath for him, like his soul and his, his desires and his yearnings and uh you could argue his life i think what's what's going on costs him a lot in that in that sense yeah yeah i think the same of idra i think personal relationships take a back seat um and i also think there's probably uh actual lives that sometimes you have to you have to decide you're willing to um basically be that that they're expendable for a greater good well, speaking of that, what personal sacrifices uh, does Idra and Dennison have to make for the greater good this season? Well, I think, I mean, Idra doesn't trust Hal, but, you know, she's, Kate is, has, is vetting her husband, and so she has no choice but to collaborate with him. I think there's a lot of things that she would not do, but she has to trust Kate, so... Uh, I think that friendship and that that alliance is taking precedence over other things that Idra uh, would prefer. I think sure. that, that obviously the the Kate Dennison relationship is one, right? And not going to go there. But then there's also this interesting thing around his integrity and who he is as a person in terms of his relationship with um, with Trowbridge. And the politics around that, you know, because I think when you're in that environment, uh, especially as a person of colour in that environment, there's stuff that you might have to let slide. And I think that that list gets longer, personal attacks, but also like morally and policy and things like that in order to survive and stay just in the mix, you know? Right. Um, you listen, in season two, I binged it all in one sitting and it made me what? wanting season be right away. Oh, wow. So I just can't wait to see where this show goes next. Thank you guys so much for your time. The Diplomat is absolutely incredible. Oh, thank, thank you. The last time we surveilled one of these, it almost ended in Ada. Everything is pointing to him. I should have knocked.